The rarest animals in the world Seneca white deer Deer are well known for running across highways and having a brown coat. But this variation of deer is so rare that you can't even find it in the wild, much less running across the road. And a major part of their identity is the fact that their coat isn't brown, it is white. The Seneca white deer is a variation of the white-tailed deer that are leucistic, which means that they do not have the pigmentation that would naturally make their fur brown, though it doesn't affect their eyes. The beautiful Seneca white deers are a herd that can only be found at the former Seneca Army Depot in Seneca County, New York, where they were first spotted in 1949. Though their survival is fairly safeguarded on the depot because hunting white deer has been prohibited right from the first sighting, the Seneca white deer are still a very rare breed and, based on studies over the last 60 years, there are only about 300 of them remaining in existence. The Seneca white deer can be viewed by the public on site at the former Seneca Army Depot in New York, but only under official supervision. Toothless. If you've ever seen the movie How to Train Your Dragon, this picture might ring a bell. Yep, it's Toothless from the movies. Just kidding, but it looks like him. Don't worry though, terrifying dragons don't exist in real life. And if they do, this picture is not going to prove it. One professor, Theodore Watkins, took this picture. According to him, this photo shows a gecko who has two natural genetic defects. The first one is called the obsidian skin disorder, while the second one involves two large sags of skin on either side of his torso. To the untrained eye, these sags of skin make it look like the gecko has wings, which by the way, is how it got the name Toothless. However, even though Toothless, the gecko, can't fly like the movie character, it's a pretty cool little reptile, Hexapus. There's no question about it, octopuses are some of the weirdest animals on the planet. They have three hearts and blue blood. However, when it seems like things can't get any more bizarre, one octopus has something that sets it apart from other octopi. Henry is a resident octopus at Blackpool Sea Life, a British aquarium. Unlike other octopi who live there, Henry has only six tentacles. Henry was caught off the coast of Wales and kept with others, but caretakers soon discovered that he had two tentacles missing. Octopi can regrow lost tentacles, but Henry did not have any space in between his tentacles to allow more to regrow, so the possibility of his tentacles having been cut off is ruled out. Scientists believe Henry's case results from a rare mutation, the first of its kind in octopi. Water Spider Argyroneta aquatica, also known as the diving bell spider or water spider, is an interesting spider from the water spider family. It is one of the few species known to live almost entirely underwater. The spider has a unique ability. It can breathe underwater. The spider first makes a web between the plants. It reaches the surface and catches small air bubbles with the help of the fine hairs on its legs and abdomen. It carries the air bubbles to its web and releases them, filling the web gradually with air. After a few trips, the spider has formed the web into an air bubble so big that it fits inside. The bubble acts as a home, a place to gather for hunting trips and a nursery for its eggs. It is also like an artificial lung as it can absorb oxygen from the water and the carbon dioxide the spider produces is expelled outside. So its underwater web stays fresh and habitable. Amur Leopard The next animal on our list is one of the rarest leopards in the world, so rare that there are only about 84 of them left. A true winter animal, the Amur Leopard is a critically endangered species that are at constant risk of being poached and hunted. Their coat, which is a lighter shade than other leopard species, helps them to adapt to extreme cold weather and during winter, their fur can grow as long as 2.95 inches. The male Amur leopards weigh from 70 pounds up to 165 pounds, while the females usually weigh between 55 to 94 pounds. Despite the rarity of their species, the Amur leopards prey on the same variety of animals as other leopards, that includes deers, badgers, and hares. These stealth animals originate from Russia, China, North Korea, and South Korea. But due to their gradual extinction, they can only be found in the Amur River Basin now, which is located in eastern Russia. There are only about 84 Amur leopards left in the wild, making them very rare animals and a perfect fit for this video. One-Eyed Bengal Kitten What's cuter than a baby kitten? How about a baby kitten with a huge cyclops eye right in the middle of its forehead, like some mythological nightmare creature? No? Well, the owner of this Bengal cat didn't exactly have a choice after her cat delivered this one-eyed kitten in 2012. 
The mother cat had struggled during delivery, so vets had to perform a C-section to successfully deliver the first kitten. However, when the second kitten came out, the vets were shocked at what they saw. The cat was born with an extraordinary mutation that left him without a nose and a single large eye right in the middle of his head. The mutation inspired its owner to name the cat Clyde the Cyclops and shared his amazing story on the internet. Unfortunately, even though the vets battled to keep Clyde alive, it died a few minutes after birth. Faith, the two-legged dog. If you saw a dog walking upright, you'd probably think it's possessed and run in the opposite direction. Faith's upright walk isn't by choice though. She was born like that. At birth, the Chow Chow breed dog suffered a brain defect that prevented its front leg from fully developing. She couldn't walk and was rejected by her mother, a stray dog. Left to die, Faith was found by 17-year-old Reuben Stringfellow, who took her in and nurtured her. The front legs were too weak and useless, so Reuben's mother decided it was best to amputate them. Still, with only two hind legs, Faith learned how to walk just like a human being. The dog became a local celebrity and traveled across America, visiting hospitals and military bases, inspiring injured soldiers and veterans. Sadly, after a lifetime of service, Faith passed in 2014. Lyrebirds. This songbird known as a lyrebird can not only whistle beautifully, but it possesses a particular ability. It is a native bird of Australia and has a lovely feathery tail. It uses its tail, made up of 16 modified feathers when wooing the female. When held above the head, it resembles a Greek lyre, hence its name. To impress the female, he also sings his best song. Usually, this is a composition of his own tune and sounds he has heard in the neighborhood. In the wild, the lyrebird often imitates other birds. But when they live in captivity, lyrebirds can also imitate the artificial sounds around them. Look at Chook, a lyrebird from Adelaide Zoo. When renovations were going on, Chook started to imitate the sounds of tools. Can you hear the saw, the hammer, and the drill? And what about Nova from Healesville Sanctuary Wildlife Park? Don't answer the phone because that was Nova mimicking your mobile phone. Tonkin Snubnosed Monkey You may have never come across a Tonkin Snubnosed Monkey before, but if there's one thing to remember about these rare climbers, it is the unique shape of their nose that befits the name because it always seems like these monkeys are displeased to see you and based on the fact that their existence is threatened by illegal hunting and the loss of their primary habitat, they have enough reason to be snubby. Tonkin snub-nosed monkeys are high flyers that can typically be found at altitudes ranging from 700 feet to 3,900 feet in trees, with males weighing about 31 pounds and females at 18 pounds. When measured from head to tail, Tonkin snub-nosed monkeys are about 26 to 36 inches other than their oddly shaped noses. Another fun fact about these monkeys is the fact that they are complete vegetarians and they primarily feed on flowers, seeds, leaves, and fruits. There are only about 50 to 60 Tonkin snub-nosed monkeys remaining in the world, which accurately puts them in the category of endangered animals. Three-headed frog. Let's take a break from not having enough eyes to having more than enough heads. This next guy looks like something out of a comic book. Somewhere in the seaside town of Western Supermare, England, kids were shocked when they spotted a three-headed frog in their school garden. In addition to the three heads, the strange frog also had six legs. At first, teachers at the nursery thought it was a bunch of frogs huddled together. When they discovered that it was one frog, they thought it would be in pain. But no, the creature was hopping around and seemed to be enjoying its day. All three heads seemed to be fully functional. It wasn't clear how the condition came to be. Frogs are primitive animals so they sometimes develop more than the usual number of limbs, but this was a whole new level entirely. The staff managed to catch it and keep it in a tank, but by the time news of its fame had gotten around, Froggy had hopped to it, never to be seen again. Still, its legend lives on in the minds of the kids and on the internet. Squitten Squitten sounds like a name to give an animal that's a cross between a squirrel and a kitten, and for a while, people actually thought that's what this kitten was. Kanga was born to a litter of four kittens, but she was the only one born a squitten. She was born with short front paws and normal length hind legs that gave her the appearance of a squirrel. But Kanga's mom didn't breed with a squirrel. In reality, she suffers from a mutation called radio hypoplasia. 
which stops cats' front paws from fully developing. In mild cases, the cats can use their front paws, but in severe cases like Kangas, the cat can't, so it had to hop around like a rabbit. She also suffers from megaesophagus, which requires her to eat a special diet while standing upright because she has difficulty swallowing. Velvet Worms These are velvet worms. They have been crawling on Earth for over 500 million years and have hardly changed at all. With over 180 species, these crawlers, which look like a combination of a ringworm and a centipede, are interesting to look at. They exist in thousands of colors, and as you might suspect, they are soft to touch because of the layer on their skin of tiny protrusions resembling velvety hairs. They have retractable legs, reside in dark places, and the largest species grows to 20 centimeters in length. This is all fascinating information, but the impressive thing about velvet worms is this. When a velvet worm has located its prey, it will use its deadly weapon. Besides its antennae, it has two front legs called oral papillae. They are connected to the large mucous glands that cover the entire body of the worm. Through the oral papillae, the worm injects a sticky mucus into its prey. The mucus hardens instantly. The only thing left for the velvet worm is to inject its captured prey with toxic saliva and eat the liquefied tissue. Sumatran Rhino Rhinoceroses are very peculiar animals with their unique features, but it doesn't get much rarer than the smallest sized rhino to ever exist. The Sumatran rhinoceros has two horns, which makes it a prime target for those that sell unique animal parts. These rare rhinos live in small groups in the mountain forests of Malaysia and Indonesia. Rhinos are incredibly endangered, but the Sumatran rhinoceros is an extinct group with only two successful captivity reproduction and births in over 15 years of captive protection. These Asian rhinos are endangered because of illegal poaching and hunting for their unique horns, and there are less than 100 of the Sumatran rhino left in the world. Winged Cats Here's some bad news for any birds that happen to be watching. Your greatest predator, the humble house cat, has now begun to evolve wings. That's right, if their attitude wasn't bad enough, Cats have begun growing extra flaps of skin on the sides of their bodies, which resemble wings. This bizarre genetic twist happened in the Chongqing province of China. According to witnesses, the cats were born normal, but started to grow wing-like flaps on their backs. These flaps aren't just skin and fur, they also contain bone and muscle. Although it's not quite enough to take off yet, it has scientists fascinated. The good news is that veterinary experts say the wings do not seem to cause the cats any pain nor do they seem to be affecting their quality of life. In fact, in some respects, it's quite the opposite. Male cats who sport wings seem to have attracted extra attention from females. However, it doesn't seem like they would dominate the skies yet, so the birds have nothing to worry about. White Tiger White tigers have become one of the most sought-after tiger species in the world. Zoos fight and private collectors pay hundreds of thousands for these animals. But here's something you probably didn't know. White tigers don't exist naturally. The only way to produce one is by inbreeding closely related tigers through generations until the white mutation occurs. However, this comes at a price, with many of these bred tigers born with severe health problems and physical deformities. This rare white tiger, dubbed the ugliest cat in the world, paid the ultimate price. When a private tiger breeder looking for a hefty payday crossed two siblings, they gave birth to Kenny. But things didn't go how the private breeder expected. Unfortunately, Kenny was born mentally disabled with a deformed face. Unable to sell Kenny because of the deformity, the breeder left it to die in filth until it was rescued by Turpentine Creek Wildlife Reserve in Arkansas in 2000. Common Bombardier Beetle Another animal that ejects something from its body is the Common Bombardier Beetle. This beetle is a master when it comes to chemical warfare. It can initiate a chemical reaction in its body to the extent that a boiling corrosive substance called benzochinone is ejected from its body. The common bombardier beetle produces this substance in an explosion chamber in its abdomen. There, hydroquinones are mixed with hydrogen peroxide. In the audible reaction, the benzoquinone is formed and then released. By shooting at the toxin at a pulsating rate of 500 times per second, a common bombardier beetle ensures that its abdomen remains cool enough to withstand boiling. It uses the toxin as a weapon when there is a threat. Sometimes this leads the toads to spit out a swallowed beetle after 15 minutes or more. In a laboratory, beetles have been observed escaping alive after almost two hours. Saola Nearly three decades after the first Saola was discovered in Vietnam, 
Commonly referred to as the Asian unicorn, the Saola is a creature with two long parallel horns that makes it look like an antelope. However, it has been discovered that Saolas are related to cattle. The rare animals are native to Vietnam and can only be found in the Adamite Mountains of Vietnam and Laos. Their location makes it difficult for researchers to gauge their exact population, though it is estimated that there are only about 25 to 250 of these Asian unicorns, aka Saolas, in existence. In fact, they are so rare that actual sightings of the Saola have only been recorded a total of four times. The cattle antelope cross animal has white markings on its face that give it a distinct appearance, but unfortunately, due to hunting and destruction of their habitat, we won't be seeing a lot of this rare animal. Cow with six legs. Still in China, this time we head to a farm where a cow went viral for having six legs. Thousands of people trooped in to take pictures with the strange creature, but the condition isn't unheard of. It's known as polymalia, and it's extremely rare. In fact, out of the over 100,000 plus cows born every year, only four have ever recorded this condition. It doesn't seem to bother the bovine cow much though. She cannot move her extra limbs, but she lives other aspects of her life normally. According to veterinary experts, the bovine's case was likely caused by a twin calf being absorbed by this one in the womb. So as long as the extra legs are not attached to any major blood vessels or nerves, they would be fairly easy to remove surgically. By now, you must be thinking you've seen all the rare animals born every 1,000 years. Well, actually there are more, so keep watching to see more bizarre looking creatures. I promise you won't see any of these animals walking or swimming around in any zoo near you. 28 Toe Cat It's not rare to see animals with more toes than usual. In fact, cats commonly have extra toes, sometimes one or two. However, some cats take that number to a whole new level with more toes. How much more? Four, five, how about 28? Sounds like a lot, right? Well, not to Jake, a male tabby cat from Canada. Jake is another one of the several cats with a genetic mutation called polydactylism. Polydactylism causes cats to be born with more than the usual number of toes on one or more of their paws. First popularized by famed writer Ernest Hemingway, polydactyl cats are commonly found with five toes in front and four at the back. However, Jake broke that record with a new record of 28 toes, seven on each foot. Mantis shrimps. Not even aquarium glass is safe from what this boxer of the ocean is up to. There are 450 species of mantis shrimp and all have deadly front legs. The boxer type has club-shaped appendages and his name is Odontodactylus silurus. This lobster is very popular among aquarium animal lovers because of its beautiful colors. But on the other hand, it is an animal with a notorious reputation. As large as it is, about 3 to 18 centimeters in length, this lobster has the surprising ability to punch at a speed of 80 kilometers per hour. This is the strongest punch of any animal in the world, comparable to the speed of a bullet fired from a pistol. It strikes so fast, you can't even see it with the naked eye. If a human could punch as hard as a mantis shrimp and had the same weight as Boxer Mayweather, a force equivalent to an astonishing 510,000 psi, 3.5 gigapascals would be produced. That is more than 5 million times faster than the fastest human punch ever. Red Wolf Bringing us to the top half of this video is the red wolf, a critically endangered animal from the canine family. Red wolves are mixed between coyotes and the less rare gray wolf with their fair reddish coats. In typical wolf behavior, red wolves socialize in tight and bound packs. They mate for life and reproduction occurs about once every year. One fascinating detail about red wolves is that they are an umbrella species that increases the quality of the environment and natural health in the area that they live in. With less than 40 of the red wolves existing in the eastern wild of North Carolina in the United States of America, this critically endangered species is controlled for its environmental benefits, but they are still pretty close to going extinct. These descendants of coyotes and gray wolves pay a heavy price for their uniqueness as deforestation remains one of the biggest threats to their existence. Fish with two mouths. Speaking of animals with more than enough body parts, here's one animal you'd never expect to find on this list. When New Yorker Debbie Geddes was reeling in her line on a fishing trip in Lake Champlain in August 2019, she knew she had made a good catch. What came out, however, took her by surprise. While she thought she had caught a big fish, she never expected a trout with two mouths, but that's exactly what she got. 
This lake trout had two mouths and resembled some bizarre mythological creature. After seeing the curious features of the fish, Debbie quickly shared a photo on Facebook, and it has since gone viral. Not only because of the strange fish, but because the lake where it was found is also a curious lake. It's the same lake that has been rumored to house another strange creature, the Loch Ness Monster. The discovery has since spurred a ton of speculations about the lake's ability to produce strange mutant fish with two mouths. Who knows what else might be lurking down there? Frank and Louie But if you think a 28-toed cat is the weirdest cat you'd see today, you're in for a rude shock. This next guy, or should I say guys, is the true definition of rare. The cat, like other cats, has four legs, a tail, and one head. However, on that head, it has two faces and three eyes. While it seems like this is one cat with a physical defect, it's actually two cats that share one body. Frank and Louie are Janus cats, meaning that they have Diprosopus disorder, a very rare type of mutation. Frank and Louie are unique because, unlike most Janus cats who don't last a few days, they have survived for years. Before they passed in 2015, they reached the ripe age of 15 years, setting a record for the world's oldest Janus cats. Mimic Octopus It can sometimes look like a flatfish, or a sea snake, or a jellyfish, and other times like itself. The Mimic Octopus is a black and white striped octopus that can mimic various undersea animals. It can change its appearance and even the behavior of the animal it is imitating. By pretending to be a different animal, he scares off his attackers, or he looks less attractive to eat. He also uses this special skill to catch his own prey. For example, it can pretend to be a crab looking for a partner, only to consume its misguided lover when it gets close enough. When mimicking a sea snake, it hides six of its arms and moves the other two like the sea snake. Predators chasing the octopus know that the snake is venomous and avoid it. Gobi Bear One of the rarest bears in the world and one of the most endangered animal species is the Gobi Bear. They are a relatively smaller species of the generic brown bear as they grow within the same metrics of 110 to 264 pounds and 57.8 to 65.7 inches. Their claws are unusually blunt, primarily due to the difference in their diet. Gobi bears feed on wild rhubarb rhizomes, bushberries, wild onion, grasses, and other plants primarily. And they are very limited carnivores as only 1% of their entire diet consists of meat. When they do eat meat, Gobi bears feed on rodents or carrion. From being hunted to their natural habitat being in danger, Gobi bears have experienced some of the worst circumstances and there are only about 22 of them left in the wild with none in captivity. Female goby bears give birth every two years, and they only give birth to one cub that is raised in their winter dens. One-Eyed Shark It's not only kittens that can pull off the cute cyclops look. Baby sharks are getting in on the action too. Back in 2011, commercial fishermen off the coast of California caught a pregnant female dusky shark who died a few minutes in the net. When they cut it open to save its babies, they discovered an odd and baffling creature. While not a mythological creature, this baby shark is as close to fantasy as possible. The baby shark was not only a rare albino, it also had one large eyeball right in the middle of its face. The eyeball looks a lot like a human eye and tests later proved that the eye had a complete set of optical nerves. It was unclear whether the eyes have been functional or if the poor guy would have survived the harsh life at sea because he died shortly after birth. Still, there was something undeniably special about this guy. Blue Lobster Despite popular opinion, lobsters aren't bright red, especially not when they're alive. While they can come in a bunch of shades and patterns, lobsters are typically a muddy green color. That's why Fisherman Coppersmith was shocked when he pulled up a rare lobster with a bright blue speckled shell from Casco Bay, an inlet in the Gulf of Maine. Instead of the blackish brown color, the crustacean was more the color of cotton candy. The discovery shocked Coppersmith, but he was even more shocked when he took the lobster to his colleagues and found out that the catch was a one in a million catch. Blue lobsters are incredibly rare and their unique shade is caused by a genetic abnormality that causes the overproduction of pigment protein astaxanthin. Chameleon This beautiful chameleon is the panther chameleon. It is native to Madagascar and is capable of displaying a rainbow of colors. Its camouflage colors allow it to blend in with its surroundings. The camouflage increases its chances of survival. Suddenly changing color is related to defending its territory. 
by showing bright or dark colors, the chameleon expresses aggression. It is a kind of communication tool to warn unwanted peers. If you look at the chameleon, you will notice that it moves very slow. It walks one step at a time and is never in a hurry. Even when it has located its prey, it still moves at ease. The chameleon isn't a great runner because with its tweed-toed tweezer-like legs, running on the branches is difficult. In fact, it doesn't need to chase its prey because it has another secret weapon, his shooting tongue. Did you know that the long, elastic tongues of chameleons are among the fastest muscles in the animal kingdom? They stretch more than twice their body length. Researchers found that the animal's tongues can perform astonishing accelerations, going from 0 to 100 km per hour in one hundredth of a second, twice as fast as the fastest car. And like a sports car, the smallest chameleons are the most powerful. Vaquita Up next is the only marine mammal featured in this video, the vaquita. The vaquita is a critically endangered species of porpoise, which is the smallest of all cetaceans, and it is also related to the dolphins and whales. Female vaquitas grow longer than their male counterparts, with the females averaging 59 inches and the males at 55 inches. The vaquita is one of the rarest mammals in the world, and it is devastatingly at the brink of going extinct. They only swim in the shallow bodies of water, which is why they live in muddy waters that are less than 50 meters deep. Scientists have also observed that the vaquita tend to swim alone, in pairs with the young or in groups of up to 10, despite the fact that there are less than 60 estimated vaquitas in the wild. Due to the increase in China's demand for the swim bladders or moors from a giant Mexican fish called the totoaba, the gill nets used for illegally fishing the totoaba in traps and drowns the vaquitas, putting them in direct danger of extinction. Another threat to the existence of the vaquitas is domestic and urban wastewater that affects their natural environment. Turtle with two heads So you've seen single animals with multiple body parts, but have you ever seen multiple animals sharing one body? No? Well, meet the two-headed diamondback terrapin hatchling. The newly born turtle hatched from a protected nest on a beach in Cape Cod, Massachusetts. According to the Cape Wildlife Center, where the unique creature currently lives, it is suffering from a rare bicephaly anomaly that leads to some body parts being shared while others remain independent. It was found that each head controls its own set of three legs. It's impossible to know how the heads communicate, but they seem to, because the body swims perfectly to the surface, so both the heads can breathe. Amazing! Transparent Frogs from colorful to colorless. Up next, we have two frogs that bear it all. In probably what's the rarest mutation ever seen in amphibians, scientists have discovered frogs with transparent skin. Yep, you heard right. These frogs are see-through. Researchers found 60 of the mutant frogs near the town of Krasnorolsk in central Russia's Tymon Oblast region. The frogs are so transparent that you can see their organs, skeletons, and even their beating hearts through their skin. It's the first time such mutation has been noticed in frogs, and scientists aren't particularly sure what caused it. One explanation, though, may be environmental pollution. There's a chemical plant where the frogs were found, and Dr. Vladimir Vershinin, head of zoology at the Ural Federal District's University Institute of Natural Science, believes that it's to blame for the frog's lack of pigmentation. Strawberry Golden Tiger Unlike a lot of the other rare animals that we have discussed so far, the strawberry golden tiger is not a separate variation of a species of tigers. It is simply a color distinct type of tiger, like the white or black tigers. But it is still a very rare animal. The golden tabby Bengal tiger, also known as the strawberry tiger, is a magnificent creature with a rare genetic mutation that causes its pigmentation to appear as strawberry golden. Like other Bengal tigers, these beauties are solitary animals and do not necessarily socialize except when mating or in forced living environments. There are only about 30 of the strawberry golden Bengal tigers left in the world. From head to tail, male strawberry golden tigers measure almost the same as the length of a basketball hoop. The beautifully furred strawberry golden tigers are also one of the biggest cats in the wild, weighing over 300 pounds which is the same size as about 10 water dispenser bottles. Human-faced goat. Goats may be considered pets or pests in some places in the world, but in India, one goat has been elevated to the level of a god, and the reason is probably one of the strangest you've ever heard of. It's all because of the goat's rare appearance. 
born in 2017, this goat has become a deity after it was born with the facial structure of a human. The baby goat was reportedly born in Zeltapata village on the banks of the river Tapi in Songad, Toluca in Gujarat. For most of its body, it looks nothing out of the ordinary. It has four legs and two ears, just like a regular goat. However, its facial features resemble that of a human. Pictures of the baby goat that have now gone viral show the strange animal with a forehead, eyes, mouth, and parts of the beard that look very similar to a human's. It also didn't have a tail, which makes it all the weirder. Although scientists claim that the animal might have suffered the facial deformity due to a rare congenital defect called cyclopia, villagers believe it's a manifestation of a god and continue to worship the goat. What do you think of the human-faced goat? genetic abnormality, or a manifestation of a god. Strange Face Goat When these images surfaced online, it caused a frenzy among many people. Looking at it now, it's easy to see why. But before you say it's Photoshop or a prop set for a movie, you should know that the goat photographed here actually existed. It was born to owners Gladys Oviedo in San Luis Province, Central Argentina. When the goat came out, it had a demon-like face, protruding eyes, and a flat, human-like look. The goat was so scary that local police were dispatched to investigate the strange animal after panic spread around the town. On the farm, they found Oviedo holding the kid. However, the goat only survived for three hours. It's not clear why the animal was born with the bizarre-looking face, but scientists believe it has something to do with a genetic mutation. What do you think of the strange goat? genetic abnormality or supernatural manifestation. Albino Python It's the moment we've been counting down to, and this is the rarest animal in the world, the albino python. We have seen some rare animals with unique pigmentation, like the Seneca white deer, the red wolf, and the golden strawberry tiger. But the top of the list belongs to the albino python, also known as the royal python. These ball pythons are naturally occurring colomorphs due to genetic disorders that prevent them from producing melanin, which results in the absence of color in their skin. While most pythons grow to become huge, the albino ball pythons stop growing at about 0.91 to 1.52 meters. On the flip side, they tend to live as long as 12 years in the wild and 30 years in controlled captivity. These pale-skinned snakes are also constrictors, which is the technical name given to snakes that squeeze their victims to death. So, while they may look pretty and innocent, the albino pythons are anything but, and they can be vicious. Unfortunately, they are a threatened species because the color of their skin makes it difficult for them to camouflage, and they can be picked by a predator before they get the opportunity to procreate. Which of these animals did you find the most interesting? Let us know in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting content.